Tonight in South Florida, hope remains of finding survivors in the wreckage of that collapsed apartment building. Church and rescue crews have reportedly heard knocking sounds and possible cries for help as they try to comb through the twisted metal and debris of what's left of the building. This is the numbers pretty much remain the same. The death toll stands at four, 11 injured, 159 still missing. During a news conference just a few hours ago, rescue crews are rotating shifts, going in to search for signs of life, then exiting the debris before going back in another part of the rubble that is considered stable. Officials saying they'll continue to search. We have structural engineers that are on site and they're evaluating everything around because of course our greatest asset are our search and rescue team, our firefighters. Uh, so they cannot be taking undue risks, and part of that is evaluating the building structure as well. We have also learned there's a fire burning underground deep in the wreckage of the building, making it hard for crews to get further inside the debris. And Ohio's Task Force One is on standby to help. Of the 80-person team, one local Bedford fire lieutenant, Marissa Sign, spent the day with him as he prepares for deployment. Brian Harding, a 26-year-old veteran firefighter, spending eight of those years on a specialized FEMA task force. His training surrounding search and rescue. We train hard because we want to eventually get the call to go out and, and make a save or, or make a rescue for somebody and, and impact their life. Harding following the news of the 12-story partial condo building collapse in Miami as it unfolds. That call he trains for coming any minute. Two minutes from now, I may be getting a text that you know, drop everything and, and go right now. Tonight, Harding is over a thousand miles away from the scene, but he's already in tactical mode. Yeah, we're just wired that way as firefighters, sending messages, hey, this is what's going on. As Harding prepares for an overnight shift at a Bedford fire station, he walked us through his packing checklist. If we park and go to work on the pile for any length of time, this bag would, would come with me. It's filled with tools, first aid, and anything that could help reach people found under debris. Um, saw wrench for any sort of circular chainsaw we're using, whether we're cutting wood or concrete, make field adjustments. It could be faced with concrete dust and water and uh, a lot of debris. The heroic job entails leaving his family behind for the mission. I just had a quick minute to run home and just want to see the daughters real quick. But his team, the Ohio Urban Search and Rescue Team, whose senior members responded to the 9-11 scene, is one he's confident to work with. We're fortunate to have that depth of experience on our team. Marissa Signs. Ready to go. Three News.